Mr. Mazuriki, as you know, uh, uh, since you, uh, uh, since you, the military as an institution in Myanmar has never been held accountable. The provisions of Myanmar law, the structure of the legal system, and the judiciary's lack of independence and of legal competence make it impossible for the domestic legal system to deliver justice for victims of human rights violations by the military. Expecting justice and truth from any Myanmar domestic process is simply naive. There, will, there is no will and there is no capacity. Yet accountability is essential if Myanmar is to escape a destiny of violence and serious human rights violation. Without accountability, the history of the past half century will be repeated again and again. Impunity has demonstrably contributed to the validation of deeply oppressive and discriminatory conduct. It has enabled recurrence of violations. It has emboldened perpetrators and it has silenced victims. This must stop. There should be an international judicial mechanism to try Myanmar's top generals and others who bear the greatest responsibility for crimes of genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes. The Security Council should act to refer Myanmar to the International Criminal Court or to establish a special ad hoc tribunal on Myanmar. There should be an independent mechanism to conduct criminal investigations and prepare for prosecutions until a judicial tribunal has jurisdiction. It could be established by the General Assembly or by the Human Rights Council itself. We are convinced that the international community holds the key to lifting the destructive veil of impunity in Myanmar. The international community has an obligation to act with urgency. Uh, revealed your report today. Uh, there are critics 